everybody, it's Em and Marcy here and in today's episode we are going to be making a bunch of flowers out of tissues. Hmm, sounds interesting. <laughs> Come on, let's go! There are just a few things as you can see in front of me that we are going to need to make our beautiful bunches of flowers. Oh, they actually smell really good <laughs> and I'll get to how to make that happen in a second. So we're aiming for something like this. This was my demo uh, and I found that the multiple coloured uh, bits of tissue are a little bit um, lost I think in my flower arrangement. So I'm going to this time make blank colours. I think that's what's going to work best. So what you're going to need? You are going to need um, your tissue paper, tissue paper made from tissues uh, that we made last episode. It actually worked pretty well. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're like, Em, what is this tissue paper from tissues? Then I'm going to put a link in the description below so that you can click on that and find out how to make your own sparkly amazing tissue paper from tissues. You are going to need um, some pipe cleaners love pipe cleaners, whatever colour you want, uh, some paper, can be coloured paper, all I've got is white at the moment so I'm going to use that, some ribbon, uh, scissors, sticky tape, hairspray, <laughs> perfume, what are we making, uh, and bobby pins, hmm, as well as some textures, look at all my sharpies, and of course the most important product, your tissues. Uh, now three ply, you are going to need three ply for this to work. So what we're gonna do to make our wonderful flowers for Mother's Day is you're going to get your tissue, whatever color you like. I'm gonna start with my blue and can I just say, this could not have come out any better. It is like sparkly as, I love it. So all you're gonna do is fold it over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and then stick a bobby pin in the middle. So I'll show you. So you're going to go once over here, so over there, over, under, over. So it looks something like, like a fan. <laughs> and then you're going to get a bobby pin. And you are going to put that in the middle, like so. So it should kind of look like a butterfly. Make sure it's all the way to the end. Then uh, here comes the fun bit. You're actually going to rip off a tiny, tiny bit of your flower. I promise it's worth it. <laughs> so you're going to rip off a bit from either end. So now you will have ruffled flowers like so. Now this is another tricky bit. You're going to pull the layers apart and like ruffle them together. So I'm going to start here, pull apart, pull apart. Keep going, just like so. So that's one layer done. As you can see, it's kind of at the back a little bit, making a flower. Just you wait. All right, we pull apart this one. This is a very nice colour flower. If I had this in my garden, I'd be very happy. So I've got one side done, now I'm going to do the other side. Push them all up. Oh, that looks amazing. There is my top of my flower. Now once you've sculpted it how you want it to look, you're going to hairspray it. I just made this bit up, but hairspray always helps my hair stay in place, so I figured it would help my flower stay in place. Just gonna give it a nice little... I feel like I'm on Hairspray the musical. <laughs> there you go. And then I'm going to go back and just triple check, it's in the spot I want it to be in when it dries. <coughs> Engulfed myself in hairspray. Classic. A bit uneven. There we go. Oh my goodness, I got the flower. Now I'm going to perfume flower. my flower. So I'm just going to give two little pumps. You don't need too much, it'll be too overpowering. Then you are going to grab yourself a pipe cleaner. I'm going to grab green. And all I'm going to do is stick it to my bobby pin at the end and twist it round and round and round and round and round until it looks like this. 
and I've got one flower that smells beautiful. <laughs> now I'm going to do this a whole bunch more times. See what I did there? Uh, until I have a full set of flowers. But for my next flower, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to take a plain tissue and we're going to make the edges of the tissue colourful. All right, so as we did before, we're going to do the same technique. So you fold over, then you pick up your tissue and you fold under and over and under. It doesn't have to be neat, just as long as it's over, under, like you're making a fan. And then we've got our beautiful fan. Again, you grab a bobby pin. I found most of these on the floor. <laughs> Bobby pins, hey, you find them everywhere. Boom, and then I've got my beautiful butterfly-like effect. Now for this one, we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to rip off the edges like so. Put those to the side, but this time, I'm gonna get my handy dandy marker and I'm going to color in my edges. So I'm gonna get pink on this side, just give it a bit of color like so. How's that gonna look? Ooh, yeah, nice, nice. Really get it in there. I'm going to do this on a piece of paper so that I don't put it on the bench. There we go. Colour, 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 colour. Till it's all soaked. All right. So now, push my little flower up. It looks like this. Then, as I did before, I'm going to pull apart my layers. This is like the trickiest bit. You gotta be real careful because otherwise you might rip your whole tissue. So this is three ply, the Kleenex three ply. So I have three layers. And boom, now I've got a different type of flower. As I did before, spray like hairspray is going out of fashion. We're going back in fashion. Bit of perfume, poof poof. And then my stem. Might go a, like a funky Where's Wally stem for this one. Wrap it round, do 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 do. Ta-da! And now I've got a different type of flower. If I put those together, you can see my bunch is coming along. So I'm going to do, how many colors have I got here everyone? One, two, three. Four more. <laughs> so many. Thank goodness I have like four pipe cleaners ready to go. Uh, and then I'm going to let you know how to wrap them up beautifully. Look at that. They're all done. That took a very long time. <laughs> However, they look amazing and they actually smell really, really nice. Now you can either give them to um, your mom or um, someone special in your life, just like this, uh, or um, you can wrap them up. I'm gonna wrap mine up and I'm gonna show you how. Now you can also use this exact same technique with tissue paper. Uh, so if you've got tissue paper at home, go crazy. I didn't have any, so I've used tissues, uh, as you I'm already know. And I'm going to so design now my wrapping. If you've got wrapping at home again, you can just do that. But if not, or if you want to make your own, then follow me. All right, so I'm going to take one piece of A4 paper and I'm going to decorate one side, the side that's going to be on the outside um, of my flowers wrapped up. Now I'm going to use um, some silver, some gold, maybe uh, my favourite colour purple, maybe some blue, a bit of green, yeah, that look nice. We use these colours. And I'm going to put dots and lines on my paper. So I'm going to put one dot here, nice big silver one, another one here. So this is my paper so far. Now I'm going to add some swirls. And now I've got some swirly, dotty, very colourful piece of paper. <laughs> now next I'm going to get my amazing bunch of flowers. Can we just take a moment again for these flowers? They look great. I'm going to place them on the piece of paper um, with the end, the triangle bit at the top. Just like so. Then I'm going to fold my paper in on one side and in 
on the other side, like a cone. There. All right, get my sticky tape. Great. Now, my piece of paper is a little bit the wrong shape, so I'm going to trim off a little bit. So I get that nice cone look to it. Just like that. And then I get to put my flowers in. Like so. Get your arranging on everybody. Work out where you want all your flowers. And what I'm actually going to do is um, sticky tape them in. So I'm going to put this one at the top so they don't fall out. And the best thing with these flowers, they don't need any water. Winner, winner. All right, then uh, fix up your flowers. <laughs> Look at that. And we're not done quite yet. If there's any bits at the bottom, just tuck them up. I'm going to put a bow on mine. I love bows. So I'm going to get some silver. And I'm just going to tie. I don't know how I've managed to tangle that, but I have. <laughs> just going to tie a beautiful ribbon. And then I'm going to get some green, some green and purple. I'm going to get my scissors. Now be very careful doing this. I'm going to get one side of the scissors, put it on the end and slide up so it becomes all loopy like that. You definitely might need an adult to help you with this. Here we go. Like that. And it just needs a little bit of purple. Just like that, everyone. You have a completely homemade bunch of flowers that smell amazing uh, and look amazing uh, to give to a special grown-up in your life, whether it be your mother, your grandma, your grandpa, your dad, your sister, your uncle, your best friend. Could be anyone. Um, and that is how you make your own bunch of flowers. <laughs> now, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up down there. Uh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see what cool things we make next year at Ems World. Goodbye, everybody.